Welcome to Tamil Guitar Lessons. I'm very happy to see you once again, guys. I'm Isaac Tahilia. So, a lot of folks ask me regarding which pick I use, uh, what, I, what do I recommend, uh, uh, which is my favorite pick and stuff like that. So, I'm going to talk about picks today. So, first of all, losing a pick and getting back after you happens with every guitarist. So, whenever you buy a pick, don't buy uh, a single pick. Buy at least two, three or five. Let me show what all picks I have. So this one is Tortex and this is 0.50 mm. This is Tortex Flex. I have another one in Tortex which is just plain Tortex pick which is not Flex. This is also 0.50 mm. This is plain Tortex and this one is Tortex Flex. This is my favorite one. I'll explain it why. So both are Tortex. And <coughs> This one is uh, Andrea Classic. This one is 71 mm. This is a little bit thicker, as you can see, compared to with the Tortex, which is 0 0.50 mm. This one is a 0 0.46 mm. I don't know which brand it is, but it's, it's, a, it's a good pick too. It has three sides, you can play whichever side you feel like. And then I got. Uh, this pick and this one is Fender I guess this is also three sides you can play whichever side you want and then I got uh, this is I don't know big big stubby I don't know this is plastic must be 1mm or 2mm I guess no. it's 2mm I don't use it at all. This one is a Jim Dunlop 0.46 mm. It's very flexible. This one is uh, Plant Waves 0.50 mm. You can find it uh, in many shops, I guess. This one is Fender, original Fender. You get a lot of uh, uh, duplicate thing, so make sure you get a good one. This is Fender thing. And this one, I don't know, it's a pretty old pick. So this one is uh, very thick, which I don't use at all. And this one is fake Jim Dunlop. Um, even if you touch it, you can feel that it's very plastic. It's a fake one. And this one is 0 0.71, must be. So usually I buy it like this, guys. Uh, I, I bought uh, Fender Thin and uh, Tortex Flex from, I got it from US. I bought like uh, a 10 pack I guess. So normally I used to buy like this. So point number one. Picks are like a personal preference. So some, some people use uh, 0 0.46 or 0 0.50. Uh, some people use like uh, 0 0.60, 0 0.70. Most people use below 0 0.70, no one use above that, most probably. So, you, whenever you go to shop and when they give you uh, picks, don't ever buy above than uh, 0 0.70. I personally use 0 0.46 and 0 0.50. These are the two picks which I use, it's, it's kind of all-rounder. Vagu uses um, 0 0.60, 0 0.70. It's kind of personal choice and uh, if you're new to this channel and if you're watching this and if you're planning to buy a new guitar most probably they'll give you two picks for free uh, generally they'll give you 0 0.1 uh, mm i mean sorry 1 mm pick or uh, 0.75 or above that or uh, above 1 mm pick don't ever buy that go for 0 0.46 or if you can get go for 0 0.36 mm so a lot of folks ask me which pick I suggest. I suggest 0.36 mm to start with because whenever you strum, what happens is normally beginners face two problems. They try to hold uh, the pick very tightly. So what happens is uh, the wrist will become automatically tight. If your wrist becomes tight, it will get stuck in the pick. And 
if you are using thicker pick it becomes worse so if you are using 0.36 mm what happens is it'll go in between the strings very quickly and you can get a mellow kind of sound or else it'll become very harsh so what i suggest you do is use 0.36 mm and second problem is often the pick falls down because when whenever they try to hold it uh, very softly very gently it may fall down so that is where these kind of pick comes these are all picks which has three sides and it's comparatively it's bigger than normal picks so i suggest you to buy these kind of picks you can get it on uh, amazon as well make sure you buy 0.46 or try to get 0.36 don't try to buy 0.50 now or else you can buy it but try to strum with 0.36 or 0.46 mm so if you hold this and play you no know, we have plenty of room to hold the pick so it'll not slip away easily so i suggest you to buy these kind of picks and uh, my favorite pick is tortex i love this one so between these i love tortex flex which is my favorite i'll explain you why so this tortex is uh, gives kind of plasticky sound when compared to this I'll show you. Let me know what you guys think. This is normal Dunlop 0.50 mm. This one is flex. So both are same mm. Uh, I don't know whether you can uh, feel the difference, but it does make a difference for me. So this material is somewhat uh, a rubbery kind of material, so it eliminates the plasticky sound of pick. I love both, but this one is my favorite, and uh, I love Fender too. Fender thin can experiment with Fender medium also. and uh, check the playlist below i have put up in the description in that i have taught how to hold the pick how to strum and stuff like that so it will be very helpful I, it's a kind of playlist case you can go through uh, there are a couple of things there which you may like and also one important thing guys uh, same size and different brands sound a little bit different because of the material they make you know this is kind of a different material but the same amount but the flexibility totally differs from pick to pick. If that's it guys, let me know what you uh, which pick you like the most and why. And uh, whenever you order on Amazon, make sure you order the right pick. Uh, sometimes what they do is uh, they mix up every pick and they try to sell it off. So make sure you get the right mm. Just explore guys, uh, buy a couple of picks and try which one uh, fits you. So my recommendation is 0.36 0.46 when you start as soon as you get the grip try to explore more good luck guys cheers